Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a haul for you this morning, and I'm still playing with resin, so I had to go out and collect a few things to play with. I've been very inspired um, watching your videos, and thank you so much. I'll talk about that in a minute, but I got some cool stickers. I don't know. I'm going to move my book out of the way. I don't know if the um, <laughs> Muppets will be any better, but this had some words in it. Um, I saw some videos by, uh, uh, her name is Suzette Yashi Create Crafts, and um, one of her videos was Tiles I Love, and she had like some cool, see I'm a little more grown and I don't really like all the cutesy stuff as much. I'm trying to figure out ways to use the stickers in a more, um, like for grown-ups too, not just for uh, kids. So. I think um, everybody loves these words, pray, shine, dance, so I'm going to see about that, or using those. These were on clearance, I found these on the clearance section in Michael's, and I thought, well, i got to try a Halloween piece, um, I'll just add this to the stickers I already have for Halloween. This was just a random, I, don't, I have to check how much this was, but this is Mary Albright, I'm pretty sure, Mary Engelbright, not Albright. And they're just so cute. I just love her images, and so I, I just really like that and thought I could make some keychains with that. Um, these, again, were um, on clearance, and they're just little fairies. And I thought maybe for a ring or just a pendant, real easy pendants, I could just make these little fairy pendants. Um, this, I thought, was on sale, and it didn't turn out to be on sale. But I thought if I do any more steampunk, it might be a cool way to add some color to the piece along with the gears and everything else. So I got those. Then another video I saw was by Claudia H. That's her YouTube channel and the video was called Season's Greetings and she had a huge tile. And I actually found the exact same um, stickers that she used. Most of the stickers that she used were in this and these were only 39 cents because these were on clearance. But it has all these, it's like, oh, this isn't actually the one. This She probably used a couple of stickers from this, but this is the one over here. I bought it um, last night. It has this little train. She has that in there and all these houses. There's, there's these like houses and she makes this whole scene on a tile. So you should check that out. It's um, Claudia H. Seasons Greetings, but they were only 39 cents, so I had to get them. Um, then I couldn't resist, again, Suzette showed some, my granddaughter loves the princesses, so, oh, I gotta let my dog in. Oh, there she is. <laughs> it's freezing here today. It's like three degrees or something. I don't know. Anyway, these are the princesses, and these were buy one, get one 50% off, I think, so, um, I'll make a couple coasters with these. I got the Tinkerbells. I'm gonna make a tile with Tinkerbell, because I love Tinkerbell, too. So, I mean, I like some cutesy stuff, don't get me wrong, but I just, I wanted to find some other, like this. Now we're talking, right? Party, cheers. Um, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> so I was thinking I'd make coasters with these, and then I just got these little extra kind of clear ones. These are super cute. And some more words. <clears throat> now these are also clear stickers, so I thought they'd work really well in the, um, <clears throat> in the resin. Um, so I'm working on right now, I'm going to show you, these were just really cool dragonflies. I told, I love dragonflies, so I really love those. And <clears throat> I saw these, these were from Claudia H's Seasons Greetings tile. She had strung some of these across the top. And when I showed my husband the picture, he's like, are you going to use lights too? And I like, I don't have the lights, but I found them today. So I'm going to use them. I'm a copycat. It won't be exactly like hers. Then these were, um, I think these are in the $1.50 bins, but I thought these could look cool as bubbles. I know that when you put um, the rhinestones under the, uh, like on this one, let me see. I put a rhinestone in one of these things. Oh, this one. Like, I'm not sure. It kind of almost turns into just like a mirror or something. It loses its... Um, I don't know what happens to it. It turns, it just turned into a circle. I don't know. But I want to try the pearls. I'm going to use these as like bubbles in water because I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Um, so that's my haul. And maybe I should go away. Oh no, I'm not done. All right, so because I did get a place in order. Oh, I got these two in the $1.50 bin. Oh, and I got glitter. 
This was $7.49 on sale, and there's, um, no, not on sale, these were clearance, 12 pieces. And I got a lot of blues, because I only had, like, lighter blues. So, I needed the blues, there's a purple, orange, red, green, there's a lot of, lot of pretty colors. So, that was $7.49, so that was great. Alright, now, is that everything from Michael's? Okay, yeah. So, I placed an order at, um, Resident Obsessions, and I got two coasters. This one actually has re a little bit of resin in it because I made a mistake last night and I flung my mistake in there. Kirby, stop! But I got this one and I'm planning on doing, I think I'm going to do a Christmas tile in here. Just a little Christmas tile. But this one, look how cute. I'm going to make a, a Nemo tile. Or this is actually a, um, it could be a tile. It's a coaster. So I got those two. And then I've been looking around the house and I found these are the Rubbermaid, and these have on the bottom that little PP. This is what Crafters Delights told me to look for. The number five and the PP, that means it's okay for resin. So you can use these as molds. And so I will. I'm going to. I'm planning on it. I wanted to have more than one thing going at a time because, um, like, this is, I'm finding out, like, that this is time-consuming. Like, you have to kind of do one step at a time. Look at this little one. This is a perfect size for, like, a, a like a nice little, um, I don't know, pendant maybe? No, it's kind of big. That's a keychain. But anyway, so I'll play with those. I got these just today at Target. These are just diamond. They're, like, where the toothpicks are and all that stuff. And little, um... These are condiment cups, mini cups, multi-purpose. But again, they have the PP5 on the bottom. So I don't know, I mean, just to use them for pouring or mixing or whatever, disposable, I just thought that was a good idea. Um, I got the three colors of casting craft, casting craft color pigment. I got these from Resin Obsession, blue, red, and white, because I figured I could make pink, and light blue and purple and you know so I need a few more colors but um, uh, just play around with these as colorants I've been doing pretty good with just my mica powder and um, glitter it's just that they're not hardening the same way as the resin usually does because I'll I'm gonna go away and come back with a different video um, I think that's it for my haul hold on what else did I get um, Oh, I got the nitro gloves, and I got these stirs that um, Crafty or um, Crafters Delights recommended. The stirs, which I do like, and uh, I think that's it. Um, so that's it. I'm going to be back with some resin videos because I'm going to be working on a couple of pieces that I want to share with you. I might take it step by step with it with you through it with me. All right. Thanks for watching.